Hello everybody and welcome to the tea. Yes, I'm excited. The holiday season, can you smell it? I can smell the tea. It's an Earl Grey kind of day. How are you guys feeling out there? My name is Jeremy Hassel and this is brought to you all by the good folks at Wet Paint. Now, if you don't know about Wet Paint, they have all the stories, the sources. They have interesting people. All the girls in the office can do 20 pull-ups. Can you believe it? Well, they know a lot about celebrity news and gossip, so make sure you check them out as well. And today, we got some topics people to go through and some people I got to talk to as well. Two of my favorite ladies at once. Is it like, this is like a holiday on steroids? What's going on, Farrah? What's up, Christina? <laughs> Yeah, hi. hi. We're here at Farrah's event, and uh, she's going to be joining us on the show today, so we're super excited. Happy holidays. <laughs> Let's do it. I got Fa my sweater on. We see you. We see the antlers. Farrah, what's this event you're at right now? What's going on? Where are you? Um, I am in the Times Square area, but it's just for holidays. I have to do some events and promotions. Um, so... I don't know if you're age appropriate. <laughs> Some <laughs> adult fun comes to us at headquarters. But yes, I got to do ice skating. Some of my friends are out here. So I can't wait to just see, you know, some of my TV friends um, before I spend some time at home with the family. Ooh, look at this, everyone. We got Farrah, we got Christina. That's two blondes for the price of one. You guys want to join, please. And yes, Farrah, we're age appropriate over here. So you guys want to meet Farrah and talk to us, go to the t.tv. We are live for the next few moments. We are here. I'd love to hear from you guys. And we're going to get through a lot of topics today. We're going to talk about Scott and Courtney. Should they or should they or shouldn't they or should they? I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what you guys are thinking. What about this, is an, this could be the best Christmas tree I've ever seen. But at that whole Kardashian get-together, they're missing one person, Black China. Is that shade? Is it not? Go to the t.tv. Join in. Um... Speaking of Kardashians, should these two be together? What do you think? It's up, it's down, there's so much going on. And you know, we gotta get to Miley Cyrus and Liam. Look at that crew right there. No, that's not one band, that's a whole family and a dog. Guys, it is live. This is the T.TV, join us on Facebook. Look at this, that T.TV, go on there, Skype in, and you might be able to meet people like the one and only Asia. You might be able to say hi to her. Asia, how you feeling? I'm feeling good, you know, I'm living under this wig. I'm living for Farrah's hair. She's killing it with the blonde. I'm ready to get into this topic, honey. I got all types of things to say about all the mess going on in the news, okay? Ooh, she's got things to say. And what about, oh, look at this, another face. I mean, it's like holidays. Thank you, Johnny, for bringing all these women for today. Hoops, Nicole, what's going on? What's going up? Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm thanks. <laughs> We're happy to have you in here. And while I got all you ladies together, I'll let the conversation start over here. Christina, what's going on today? What's going on with wet paint? What's going on? I'm going to start with you, Christina. So there's a lot going on at wet paint. And one of the biggest things is Kris Jenner's holiday party. She did not invite Black China, and she left Black China off the gingerbread house that she made. Everybody else got a name except for Black China. So major drama. I mean, I didn't get invited to the Kardashian-Jenner holiday party either. So, you know, I feel you, Black China. What do you think, Farah? I mean, didn't she just leave her son? So maybe that's why the mom has a reason to leave her off the gingerbread house. I would, too. Mm. And what about you, Hoops? What do you think about this? I don't know. Chris is smart. I don't think she's not going to invite somebody just on purpose or to be mean, you know? So, I mean, with all the turmoil going on between them two, I don't, I just think that she wants to keep the peace, keep the energy cool. It's the holidays and it's supposed to be fun and loving. Asia, would you be mad if you were Black China right now? No, Black China is too popping for that little stupid ass birthday party or Christmas party or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. And honestly, if I was Chris Jenner, I wouldn't invite somebody who stole all my son's egos to my house either. Like, that's a late <laughs> oh, girl. Shoot. Have your own party. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and we are going about this situation right here. She was not invited. That was a lot going on here. But uh, and while I got, you know, all one, two, three, four ladies on here, Asia, I'm going to take the court. Who would you like to talk to about what? Oh, goodness. My brain is just spinning. But I do want to ask Farrah a serious question. Yeah. Farrah, girl, again, I'm living for your hair. Serve, serve, serve. Uh, My question. So no, don't problem. My question to you is now, unfortunately, we heard today the, to the news today that somebody from the 16 and Pregnant franchise passed away. What do you think Valerie. about that? I know you started on that before Teen Mom. So, like, what are your thoughts about that? Yes, Valerie passed away. And I was so hurt by that. And between everything that I had to do today for work and have fun, I was shown that, and a bunch of reporters brought that up, 
I am just so saddened that in Valerie's group around her, regardless if people are experimenting with drugs or, you know, from teens to your 20s, people do that. I think it's really who you put yourself around that let things get out of control and too far. I'm very hurt by it. I'm very sad by it. I obviously always root for our teen parents, especially in 16 and pregnant, which I started. It hurts me so bad that she couldn't get through a time. She had a gorgeous, she has a gorgeous daughter. She is gorgeous herself. Valerie is definitely very pretty. And it really just hurt me um, to see that. And I really hope her fan, it's such a struggle. You know, Sophia, I lost Sophia's dad around the holidays. And this is just something that will kind of carry over for her daughter during the holiday time. And that is going to be really stressful. Um, and I just, my prayers, and I hope that her daughter gets to this confusing time in her own amazing way. But I just, I just hope that her family and her daughter does not struggle past this. It's just really hurtful. Yeah, this is uh, this is a, a really serious thing as well. Our hearts and all condolences go out as well. And the holidays are a time that families uh, need to be bonding and get stronger together and through this. So thank you, Farah, for actually bringing that up. And to you guys as well. And no, we are live. This is the T people. Um, anything can happen at any time we're going to talk about here. And I want to know what you guys want to talk about. But while I got Farah here already on the hot seat and I got all the people who want to talk to you, let's bring in a few right now. What's up? We got John Bastow. Hi, John. Good hey, to see Farrah. you. I love you. farah has been on my show a bunch of times. One thing I love about Farrah that nobody ever talks about is celebrities uh -huh. in this business are like fireworks. They burn brightly and fade into oblivion. She always oh. finds a way to reinvent herself. Teen mom, best-selling New York Times author, author first person check. ever to be a check. single on couples therapy. Check, check, oh, wow. check. check. Um, and also my favorite, my personal favorite, wanted to be on As the World Turns, sends in her own homemade, re homemade uh, demo tape uh, audition tape and gets on. So yeah. whatever the haters say, screw them. You're doing you and you're staying relevant. I love it. Thank you, John. Happy holidays. Where are you at in the city? I am, I would love to actually come by, but I'm not in the city today, unfortunately. I'm stuck in Long Island, but um, Long I always Island. love coming to your events. Holla. <laughs> Thank you. I wanted to ask you a quick question. Um, yeah. Considering you always do reinvent yourself and we always want to stay in the positive, what are your goals for the new year? What do you want to do in 2017? So um, my biggest thing, I think, to help my success, I am flying in Chris Hughes from London, who is a world-renowned hypnotherapist, and I'm going to have him hypnotize me, starting with cussing, but he's helping me learn that I can do more to be more successful and, you know, just better mannerisms and things that I can work on. I'm inviting my mom and my dad as well. I like that. That's, family uh, affair. Family affair. Always affair. raising the yeah. bar. Ooh, Farrah's got it going on for 2017. This is nuts. Do you have questions for Farrah? Guys, it's the T.TV. Join us. Yeah, I'm talking to all you guys. I see, I can see feeds here. All of you Facebook people who are commenting and talking, you can join in as well for a few minutes. I'll see what I can do for you. And uh, while I have Farrah here as well, let me let some more people come and say hi to you. Like, uh, San Antonio, what's up, man? Hey. What's up, man? How you doing? Hi, Farrah. Hi, where are you at? I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, I love North Carolina. How cold is yeah. it? Not too cold? No, it's not too cold. It's maybe That's in like nice. the high dirt. Yeah, Texas got a little cold front itself. <laughs> That's what's up. Happy I'll, holidays. Right. Happy holidays to you too. You look very nice. I love your sweater. Uh, I got my other sweater on. <laughs> <laughs> and San Antonio, you gotta show off the hair. Do we see what's going on over there? Do you see what my man has? That's a piece of art on his head. It's gorgeous. I like your hair. Everyone's got good hair today. <laughs> we see you, San Antonio. And also, I want to bring in, uh, I got the cool names, so we're going to keep it going over here to Tiana. Tiana, I got San Antonio up here. I got Farrah, I got Christina. Tiana, this is your moment. Shine, woman, shine. Happy I feel day. like I'm a little underdressed. I need, like, a, a holiday sweater for next yes. time, for sure. <laughs> so, Farrah, what are your plans for Christmas and for New Year's? Are you attending uh, mainly parties with your daughter, or you're gonna attend some adult parties as well? Oh, I got, uh, I think my last of the year is today in New York. I'm at headquarters, but otherwise I will be with my daughter. I, I just wanna be with my family. I don't get that opportunity much. And with the stores closed and people on break and I'm not bothered as a boss, I'm gonna enjoy that with my family. 
Oh, it's the holidays. She's letting you know it's the holidays and where she's going. If you guys want to talk to Farrah, we got for a few more minutes. It's the T.TV. It's that simple while we're here. Now, we are going to get to these hot topics. We're going to get to Miley and everyone. But Farrah, what I want to know, well, I mean, I speak with you, but let's talk about some business things you got going on for you and your daughter mm -hmm. in 2017. Let's talk about it. Yes. So our stores from Sophia's Children's Boutique to my furniture store to the frozen yogurt store. That's just so amazing. Thank you all out there. Um, I think I have to really just grow upon licensing and everything else because we get so many questions about franchising and licensing and being a part of the brand um, and the success of that. So I am just partnering with the large companies this year and doing it the right way within the growth of that. So I have my hands full and working on a business book. Ooh, and what about TV? I got to ask the questions because I see the comments here. What's up? We're going to see Farrah on TV soon. Yes, um, I have a new show coming out in January, and that will be on We. Ooh, and what's, and what's part of that? I can't say. I am so uh, Oh, I gave you a little hint with that. I'm going to get Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> um, it'll probably be one of your favorite shows for the new year. Okay. Do you hear? Right. Do you hear the yeah. points he's making, Calvin? Do you hear? Is that Santa or Calvin? <laughs> I can't even tell. It's a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Get that whip action. <laughs> hey, Calvin, you have any questions for Farrah or Christina? Oh wow. Well, I, as a true connoisseur of reality TV, I see Farrah. I saw Hoops earlier. I'm just in heaven right now. Um, while I have Farrah, I just want to ask. Um, with Teen Mom OG and you and Amber, you used to be friends. I wonder, is there any hope for reconciliation, especially now that she's announced that she's leaving the show and you got your own show happening? Like, is there any way that you guys she'll can come back. together after yeah, all of that? Yeah, she always does that. She's a little, she'll be back. No one's leaving. Um, I would say, do I ever talk to people who they have just wanted to fight with me consistently and my dad had to almost go to the hospital because of her out-of-control boyfriend? No. So once you become a legal problem, I never talk to those types of people anymore. So they're kind of off, and I wish them all the best, like I would anyway. Mm. Uh, understood. And Calvin, since you're Santa, your wish is our command. And here is hoops for you, Calvin. <laughs> I'm such a fan. Flavor of Love was like my religion <laughs> growing up. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I want to know, hoops, uh, what are you hoping that Santa brings you this Christmas? Oh my gosh, everything. Like Christmas Eve is the most magical day for me. So I don't know. I asked for a few things. My horses, I want to be stable for them. Like I could keep on going. <laughs> I'm getting uh, my daughter Sophia her first miniature horse for Christmas. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to call you, Nicole, for some, like, you know, insider I I information. Uh -huh. It's tough. Uh -huh. I don't I know anything. <laughs> I got you. Yay. Uh -huh. That's so Thank cute. You. Do you see what you do, Calvin? I mean, Santa. I mean, Calvin, you bring the holiday chair everywhere you go. What are you guys doing for the holidays? If you want to know more about what I'm going to ask these people, go to the T.TV. I'm talking to all you guys watching. It is that simple. And to all you callers, I see the lines blowing up. I'm doing my best to get you Farrah and Hoops and John and Asia and Tiana. I'm doing my best. We're going to get there. But we also have these topics now. Now, talking about uh, one of my favorite couples in reality TV, Yes, I'm talking about Scott and Courtney. Are they together? Aren't they together? There's been so much, you know, speculation, and especially when I was looking in uh, at Wet Paint this morning, seeing another report that they called it quits. I was like, what is going on here? Christina, what is the word? So they had reportedly reconciled recently. They took a romantic trip to Mexico without the kids. It seems like they were maybe getting back on track, but now there's word that they split again, and Courtney's been hanging out with some younger male models. So I think good for her. It's a new year. Her and Scott have tried so many times, and I think they'll always be good parents, and maybe they're just not meant to be together. You know, maybe she needs somebody different. And that is such the topic in Team Mom even, to be together, to not, because the children, because of going out. Whatever it ends up, it will be. And sometimes you shouldn't just stay together for the kids, right? That's like, right, doesn't correct. make sense for you. So sometimes you can be good parents. Doesn't mean you have to be good exactly. romantic partners. Exactly. Mm, now, could could it work out knowing that they've seen other people, ladies? Scott's been seen with his ex. Uh, Courtney's been seen with a few younger male models. Could uh, they could they work it back out after all that's out in the public? I think sometimes if you see your ex with somebody else, you realize, like, wow, they're really moving on, and it's a little bit of a wake-up call. So maybe yeah. Scott will see Courtney with these younger male models and realize he needs to get his stuff together. I don't know. I don't think the younger guy influences helping them get back. I don't think Scott's, like, bothered by it. 
I think it probably, I mean, why is Courtney trying to get back when he's with his ex from time to time? I just feel like it's a weird kind of time for them where it's like, I don't know, to be together, to move on. And maybe they just need this time to like float. Do their own thing. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you. I just said float. Hold up, Nicole. Should they be floating right now? Or do you think right now at this point, especially uh, at the holiday season, we call it cuffing season, people. Yes, it happens. Should they get back together for the reason? What do you think, Nicole? Uh, I think holidays actually make it worse because, I mean, what's the point? I think they've been through this so many times that they're used to it by now. And I think the emotions played out a long time ago. And for the reasons, for the family, for, you know, they tried to stay together and they know it, it has not worked. So by now, I think it'll be easier for them to move on because they've been through this phase so many times. And so they're just ready to do it. Mm. Tiana, have you ever broken up with someone and they've been with someone else and then you got back together? It never happened. I just was never able to rekindle broken relationships for some reasons. Because you always, uh, in, your, in the back of your mind, you remember seeing them with someone else. And it, it just, I don't know, it, I just can't be like 100% into it ever again. I don't know if, if it's the same with other people, but I so want Scott uh, and 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 the Claude um, Courtney. Oh, Courtney to get back together. Okay. I mean, she, okay, she wants them back together. What does Antonio want? Do you think that union should happen? Yeah, I think I think Courtney and Scott make a great couple, and I think that they should work on their problems. Their family has just gotten way too big to really end it all. So I think they should really just keep on going at it. Just work on their issues. Mm. Now, we all have issues. We all have times in the holiday season. It's a good time to reflect on what you've done, where you've been, where you want to go. Now, you know, Scott and Courtney, I mean, I'm, we're, we're just talking about everything they're doing. You guys can go to the T.TV and join us. These two have been up and down all around. And Farah, <laughs> now, now thinking about, you know, you being on reality TV, having relationships on camera, off camera, and whatnot, do you think that Scott and Courtney have a strong enough foundation to make this work, even if they don't get married, but just be together. I think they have a great relationship to just be together, mm. for sure. Okay. And their personalities hold true to that. All right, all right. What's John Baisdow think? Uh, I think that it's good that they get together for the kids. Um, if it's something that they don't want to do for themselves, they've got to always be true to themselves. The one thing I think that's very hard when you have a certain amount of respect and a certain amount of self-worth that you feel about yourself, if you see your guy or your girl always out in public with somebody else and then you get back over and over again, there's a law of attrition where you become less and less and less. And you've got to stop that. There's got to be respect between both parties. Um, not only not keeping it public, but also not straying if you're really going to commit yourself to that person and the family. Mm. Yeah. You know, we're dropping mics, we're having facts. What do you guys think about this? Could you ever come back around and be with someone? Could Asia do it? No, absolutely not. The minute you leave me and all of this, I turn cold like Elsa. Like, it's frozen over here. <laughs> There's no coming back at all. And I think, you know what? Honestly, Jeremy, I think Scott is being smart. I think this is all a survival tactic because we know we always talk about the Kardashian curse. So maybe he leaves and comes back before it really, like, latches onto him. He, before he, like, turns to, like, a Lamar or something crazy, he'll just Ooh. go, okay, and then dip, okay, and, you know, back and forth because he has a kid, so he, has, he can't just drop her, but... I think that's what he's doing here. Ooh, Asia could be a celebrity, um, archaeologist, scientist, historian put together and said that Scott broke the curse. Did he break the curse? Is Scott the one playing the game? I'm looking around the, I'm looking at the studio. Everyone else, everyone's going, we don't know. Asia, that's a great topic. What do you guys think? It's the T.TV. Guys, you can join in. I want to hear your opinions and also your opinions on this relationship. This is the Cyrus family. Billy, I can't even tell. That was Billy Ray right there. But um, looking at the whole family, the addition over here you see is uh, Liam. Now, does Miley and Liam have been up and down and all around and them coming together for the holidays? Now, this photo means a lot. Does it mean that this is it? This is, this is all. Farrah, does the photo mean the flag is in the ground? I think they're going to be together. If not married, eventually married. But that looks like a hard rock 
kind of Christmas. I was like, okay. Yeah, we were just talking about couples, you know, breaking up and whether they can get back together. Miley and Liam were engaged. They broke up and now they're back together. So I think it can happen. And sometimes some time apart and some space makes you realize what you have with that person. And it seems like Miley was kind of going through like her wild phase and now she's kind of calm again. She's Somehow. back with Liam, with the family and her parents too. Her parents were going to get divorced and they oh. stayed together. So, so somehow there's that give and that take dynamic with within their family group. Yeah, but it looks like it's going to be a happy holiday and everyone's back together Yay! in the Cyrus household. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're about, people. Happy holidays. Enjoying yourself. Now, the holiday season's coming up. What I want for all of you guys is to be responsible. Don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. Chill. Eat a lot. Have a great time. And most, impos most important, keep it positive. I'm Jeremy. I'll be drinking tea over the holiday. We'll see you next week. Uh, 3 p.m. It's the tea. Bye. And my caller, stay on for a second. I got to talk to you. Bye, everybody. At the intersection of social and mass media, TV and the web,